You asked a really good question about the vaccine schedule. By 15 months of age, a baby is supposed to have received 25 different shots. And that's a lot. And especially from a, a parent standpoint, I'm a parent too, I can relate to that. You see your child getting those vaccines and it's hard to take them there knowing what they're what they're in for because they have no idea and they just look at you with sweet eyes. But um, this vaccine schedule is proven to be most effective with your baby's immune system based on how developed it is at that point in their life. And the number two reason why we vaccinate kids when we do is because simply put, we don't want them to go unprotected longer than what is necessary. Um, vaccines truly do save lives. And thanks to them, we've seen things like polio become completely eradicated. In the last few years though, we've seen um, a rise in things like measles and pertussis or whooping cough because people are choosing not to vaccinate their kids. Many people believe that they're not putting anyone else at risk for getting the disease when they choose not to immunize their kids, but that's not true. The more people that choose not to immunize, the more susceptible a whole community is to illness because the very young and the very old, those who haven't had a chance to be vaccinated yet, or those who haven't received booster, booster shots in recent years become more susceptible and become ill. So many doctors used to go to med medical school and hear things like, oh, you'll never see measles, but if you do, this is what it looks like. But unfortunately, these things are creeping back into our society. Now, um, if you have chosen to vaccinate, but you're just worried about the schedule, talk to your pediatrician and it can be modified a little bit if you'd like to. But again, we don't want our kids to go unprotected for too long. And there are things that the doctor's office can do to make it a little more bearable for you and your baby. They can send in multiple staff members at once to give your baby all the shots they need at once so that in their mind, hopefully they just feel like they're being poked once. And they can talk to you about things you can do to alleviate the pain and discomfort that your child might experience after the shots. It's normal for them to have a little bit of pain, swelling and redness at the injection site. And with some vaccines, they might get a low grade fever. So talk with your doctor about over the counter pain medications that can be given for that. If you have any other questions for me in the future, Feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.